Hi, I'm Zoe, and whether you're here for drama, tea, conspiracies, or just to spend a little time with me, I appreciate it, and I'm glad to have you. Today, I want to talk about the Stanley Cup craze that's been going on. And when I say Stanley Cup, I do not mean the championship trophy awarded to the National Hockey League champion. I mean, these crazy... Yeti cups basically that have been coming out. The Stanley brand has been around for over a hundred years. Uh, they started out with steel vacuum sealed thermos cups for the working class. Now after Stanley's blew up on TikTok, they have grown $676 million in sale just in about four years which is insane and unheard of for a company that's been around for so long. And you might recognize these old Stanley steel tumblers. I know everybody's grandpa had one in their basement. You used to be able to find them at yard sales all the time and nobody wants those ones anyway. They want these ones, the cute pink trendy ones. So the whole reason these cups got big is because of this video of a girl whose car caught on fire and when she found the cup like a day after it was a tiny bit burnt up but not really and she shook it around and there's still ice inside you can go ahead and take a look at it but where did the hype come from a woman claims that her stanley cup not only survived a car fire but also still had ice left inside fire yesterday it still has ice in it one of the crazy things to me is I don't need a cup that keeps my water cold for days. I'd be drinking the water fast. Also, I would definitely not be using a cup after it was in a fire, so it's very, very impressive that it withstood that. But I'm not gonna be using it after that anyway. Now, although in the past few years, the Stanley Cups have been getting very popular, it's just been in the past few months that people have been going absolutely crazy in stores over these things like it reminds me of black friday when everybody would be going wild over grabbing the last toy and oh, i got it and little kids crying because they couldn't get it and everything um but here's a video just to show you how crazy and i don't i don't understand why they were trying to stop this guy i don't know if he stole the cups or he purchased them but it's it's just ridiculous A limited edition Stanley Cup released in collaboration with Starbucks is causing mayhem at Target stores with fans lining up overnight and fights breaking out in some locations. Get him! Get him! It's unfathomable to me that people would be going so wild over a cup. One of the things contributing to everybody rushing around to grab them so fast is that people have been reselling these cups for a lot. The cups usually sell for, like it said, about $50 for the 40 ounce quencher tumbler or whatever things. People will resell them for almost $300. Even in my local Facebook group, I saw somebody trying to sell, resell one for almost $200. I will admit, it's a cute cup. It's pink. Here's another video of people flocking through a Target to get these cups. This one has a million likes on TikTok too, so massive attention and publicity for this cup. One of the Target employees was even yelling, reminding people that you can only take two cups per customer. So if you notice, somebody brought their kid with them to grab cups. He's so excited, bless his little heart. Now, although, <coughs> although I'm talking a little bit of shade on this cup, I do have my own Stanley cup. I'm not a loser, all right? This is my Stanley cup. And all I gotta say is, have you lost your damn mind going after all these cups like crazy people? Ugh. <coughs> Ugh. Okay. 
When I was at Walmart the other day shopping for a hot chocolate mug for my son to send to kindergarten, oh, um, <laughs> they had like knockoff dupe Stanley cups that looked almost exactly the same. Like hard to tell a difference for only $15. And you know, that's, that's pretty nice. They probably work almost just as good as the Stanley Cups and you don't have to pay the insane price for these things. Comment down below if you have a Stanley Cup. Um, they're cute, like I said, and I understand cups have always been a fad and a trend, so I've seen people go crazy over cups. And these ones are cute, so if you're a Stanley, a Stan fam, <laughs> comment down below and if you're marked safe from the Stanley Cup fiasco like me, also let me know. It's just kind of an interesting little trend. And you know what? There's worse things people could be spending their money on. What gets under my skin is the resellers, the people trying to take advantage of other people. And with that, I'm gonna get back to my Stanley. Do something nice for somebody. Do something nice for yourself. If you feel so inclined, leave a like on this video and have a great day. If you have $50 to spend on a cup, just make maybe do something, just do a little, little something, something for somebody else you love. You know, if you're treating yourself, treat somebody else. Love you guys. Have a great day.